wall. Then there's a stairway, sort of a ladder going up and down. I don't understand what you're worried about, Gogur. They control the. Oh wait, there's no gate. Like what's like what's your worry here, Gogur? Yeah. That they're gonna go up in the towers. But if they go up into the towers, then they just come. Like it, it converges somewhere as well as, where we uh, are. Has given you three uh, the freedom to defend the gateway with your lives as best you can. If he fucking shoots us, I swear to God, I'm gonna sprint back there and kill his fucking ass. You'll never sprint, yes. I, I, I hope you've raised your speed, you'll never make it otherwise. <laughs> Burn a destiny I'll point to make it. I'll make it. I'll fucking Lord make Caswell, it. Lord Caswell can fucking rock across this bridge faster than he can. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, goddammit. Not anymore. Laric has uh, been training. Right. I'll, uh, I'll need to, to, to be right back. Yes, oh, exactly. Yeah. A running montage. He is damn fast now. He has unlocked yeah, his suppose, full potential. I suppose you did get the run bonus dice. He has his full potential, like he can't do any better. This is it. <laughs> well, he could, uh, theoretically, but uh, yeah, yeah. He he is he is fast now. I I did spend the destiny in that. So. So uh, yeah. so everyone. Everyone watching out there, I hope you like Bree volunteering, man. <laughs> that was beautiful. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's a good way around it. I um, it's the only fitting way to go. I think. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I, I was like, fuck, can I'm we, gonna really we, piss like, off a knight. <laughs> once all of this is over, can we like uh, scramble together some gold and send Lord Castle to like a charm school? <laughs> Send it to the, the fucking part... wall. Who gives a shit? The best part is where you learn that he does have charm bonus dice, but what with you know all of the horrible terror of the war and you know his walls being gutted and the siege weaponry being destroyed and half his men being killed and his family being sent away. You know, yeah. I'm sorry he can't have as good of a mood as Kevin does. Kevin is an optimist. Yeah, well, uh, Caswell is a realist. Yeah, he's the rather. Stannis of the Reach, <laughs> apparently. Uh, <laughs> I did love just how thoroughly he eviscerated people like Varen. Like, God, you're ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck, there is, you're a, there ugly. is a beast I haven't been approached. He is ugly, though. I mean... <laughs> Who's fast? Varen? Oh, yeah, good. You can run up. faster he's away from us. He's beautiful on the inside. No, yeah. Yeah. Ver <laughs> you know, Varen's like... My, my lord, I have some advice for you. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you ugly fucker. I'm, uh, I'm back. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Ashra, uh, well, uh, we'll also go uh, a little closer to uh, to you two and say, uh, so uh, it seems like we have to hold the gate. She looks to the empty gateway. I mean, hold a hold. She looks at Ren. You run fast. I think I'm quick enough. This is all right. The barrel's up there. It'll be your task. I, uh... Stay out of the way. I think... What's up? It's just, uh... I think you should speak to the men, though. When... When we see them come. Be in one of the towers. The... The... The eastern one, perhaps. Then... When we see them arrive, give them a speech. At least get them alert with some words. He might be grumbled down there, but I don't think he's going to begin shouting to stop you. <laughs> well, Eric nods. Says, uh... Sure, I'll give him a speech before we all fight. He's definitely not going to be able to drag me off. This is an all, uh... Just don't talk for, for so long that they uh, shoot you. Alright, grins. So, when do we want these pots down then? Looks up at them. So, when we, we fall back. Right, got it. It'll give us time at least. Cover this place and. Well, he looks over to. Uh, to Kevin. Oh, maybe. some fire. That might win us time enough to fall back to a better line. Or regroup. Which is like looks a back to the, uh, to, the, to the garrison folk who stand there. Maybe uh, they can take care of whatever stragglers might get through. Right in his mind right now is just kind of uttering, why am I always the one dealing with fire? 
they, uh, they look look at the others. The other looks and says, "All right." All right, nods. He's just readying himself for the death and dismay. It's approaching for, for speech. For speech. <laughs> That's what he's readying himself for. Yeah, he he. He's more worried about the speech than fighting for his life. He's done that before. The speeches <laughs> aren't great. <laughs> Seduction. <laughs> you do Seduction. I'm going to seduce, seduce them the all. <laughs> I'm gonna, let let gonna me tell you them. a body tale of how your successors will get you women. <laughs> so Ashra will take up position like next to the door gate, basically. Ready for this blade to stab whoever might go in. Hmm. <laughs> See, so should just stands here, leans against the wall, not being really in danger of attack right now. I see, just nods to Alaric too. Get in the tower. Like just you know, keep a look out. Look out. Mm -hmm. Does Alaric have his own warhorn at this point? Oh yeah, Marsh's yeah. commander. Yeah. 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 Oh, maybe he can blow that when he sees something. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the uh, in the western tower, Menzo sort of walked up here with Bree before this guy gets here. It looks at it and says, I'm not the worst of them. Bree you says, know that. Bree says, of course I know that. Why did you volunteer us? Because I don't want to stand anywhere where we're not going to do the most fighting. Do you think the worst people are going to be given the most fighting? I, I figure that, you know, we're further away from support. And so we'll have more to fight between the two of us. Not realizing that Donald is coming. <laughs> she comes up the ladder. Between the three of us. She looks at him. All looks over. This is, uh. You, uh. You gotten any better since last we, we fought? She looks at Donald. Frowns slightly. So I shall do my utmost to make honor to my house and make sure that this castle stands, even though it is not really in my best interest to do so. So, looks at Bree. And I shall make attempts to protect the young one. She looks to man, sir. But looks to Bree and then smiles and then smiles more. Uh, Bree uh, looks over towards uh, Donald and says, in curtsies, uh, in her armor, and says, thank you. He gives a, gives a sort of a, a, a bow. Mm -hmm. so I don't know what Lord Terrell is thinking. <laughs> Bree looks over to Manser, smiles. <laughs> and says, uh, Dorian would love this. <laughs> Bree, Bree says, Unfortunately, he's in another tower. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Looks so out of the door. If nothing else, the gatehouse is close by. I'm sure they'll get something. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, yeah. I just. I wonder when they'll send the elephants, Manson. Nonsense. Looks looks down from the walls. It's a. Uh, it's good that the walls are so low. That's another reason, too. I wanted us to fight together. I mean, if I picked someone else to fight alongside, they might try to stop me from fighting. You know? Connell looks over and says, I would, but I don't think I have the authority to do so. Mm. And that's, that's right. Bray says, you know, so when, when we, we see an elephant, you and I can, can get it together instead of someone trying to hold you back. I mean, I'd just be foolish. Never punched one of those, that's true. Perhaps the sword would work better. <laughs> I suppose we'll find out if we do well enough. And if we don't live that long, just like I, that would mean that there would have to be a damn lot of them here. Yeah, so we win either way, Mancer. You know, it's, yeah, we do. Donald just sort of looks and goes over to the other door. <laughs> <laughs> Bree says, I hope you've gotten better. So looks, looks down at her. <laughs> I could still take you. Bree looks over at uh, up him and says, don't think I didn't see what you did on the ship. 
It looks away. <laughs> Not say anything. So we fade to the uh, tower with a very different atmosphere. With uh, Eric standing here, looking at Varen as uh, as Harbold comes up, looks at them. Not slowly. We can probably lose a single tower. He looks at the door that's been barred. I'll, uh, I'll just uh, be around. He said nods to Eric, who nods again. Looking at Varen. They could attack any minute. Won't have a better chance than this. Well, hopefully we'll make it out of here. On this, one way or another. One of us probably will. Stem. Looks at him sternly. You would refuse a challenge? A rematch? At this moment, yes. I would accept it at another time. Yes. And why would you do such a thing? You concede that you couldn't best me? We'll see when we have a rematch. Uh... So, uh, feeling yellow then? Afraid that a little fight won't have you ready for the big one, eh? Trying more to focus on the task at hand. Would be a shame if I hurt you before the fight. <laughs> I don't doubt you would. I'd hurt you more. Maybe. As long as sure. we don't have this fight, my honor is slighted, sir. I can't have it stay that way for too long. It's the reason I'm here. I had to talk greatly to get the others to come. They understand, though. If it was them, I would do the same. They would do the same. You know, Hobbled Nod says, I could be petty, take some hands, but I don't see the point at this time. Take some hands? He said, Nod says, it's, uh, well, she says, it's not polite talk. She smiles slightly. Hmm. Sure, I could stomach it. He's ironborn. So, as if that explains everything. Shrugs. I think they've seen worse things than he have. Very set of as well. Probably true. I haven't fought with him. Just know that our words are tireless. This duel we will have, I will never stop asking. And if you keep running, more and more people will hear you refuse me. So to Harwald, he just gives a half nod. The more and more people who hear it, when does the it less honor you will have. Monsieur, we will have our fight. So shrugs. I suppose it'd be your funeral either way. I cannot fault a man truly for fear in this kind of situation. If I recall correctly, you were more hurt than I was after the fight. You don't just that. It's true. And yet you're so confident that you could take me. I had an arrow somewhere. <laughs> anyway, I suppose then we'll do this thing, but I'm going to count this as my win. Do as you wish. Put us even. Next one is the deciding one. If it makes you feel better. So. It does. Good. <clears throat> Six, 
Besides, I uh, think fighting alongside a rival is the best. It's motivating, you know. It is. It certainly is. Although I think I would uh, do better at the gate. Yeah, what me too. I'm sure they can call for help, though, loud enough for us to hear it. Indeed. As I understood, these positions were only temporary. When enough of us have died, we'll move back to the bridge. Yeah. Oh, I'll just look sober. Just think the Two should just a bit longer begin making time. out already. <laughs> I blushing in here. Eric just looks over to him. Could we maybe talk about something else? It's a little sickening, honestly. <laughs> Comes from a man who has eaten 60 days old fish. Hmm. So or shakes his head, goes to this door. I fucking love him. Uh, stands here and looks out over the battlefield. And uh, that is how the positions are. When later in the day, you begin to see the enemy, perhaps mobilizing, at least moving about a lot. And then... You hear the, at least Alaric hears the distant cry of a, a horn blowing to muster and movement. Perhaps your response to the requested surrender has not really been satisfactory. <laughs> I wonder why. People get up. It's been a little too long now. The big geist of getting ready has kind of faded a little bit. People have begun sitting down. Meals have been brought and been eaten. You just sit on your post, getting pretty boring. Manager probably hearing the distant horns that jumps up. And, uh, just finally. I was going to think they wouldn't come. He's just laid on his back and he just... Yeah, all of a sudden is on his feet. <laughs> but yeah, Alaric will um, sound the horn. Yeah, his horn. And will uh, slowly make his way over here ish. And uh, uh, wait for the men to kind of stand up. Sure, they Can't do. Get ready. Watchers and such. They haven't really been allowed to sit down much since Armand is right there. Mm. Uh, and he's sitting on his chair behind his cover with his crossbow sort of right across his lap looking at them. He even probably have the least good time of all. But, uh, you know, he can spend his time going a little bit sort of beside the bridge not be seen and tending to the fire and whatnot. Renan has just been just talking to Sarasha and now Upon hearing this, you know, just draw his two blades, getting ready. Mm -hmm. So Asper has been reminiscing about when he was young. Ren has been asking a lot of questions, including some that are probably, in retrospect, were probably pretty obvious, but Ren doesn't know about a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's been pretty chill, really. Down-to-earth sort of thing. Calm before the storm, perhaps. Mm -hmm. As so, uh, she begin to see the uh, the mass of enemies approach. Moving out into a half circle to begin closing it around the uh, keep here. You see the, the banners in the air with the strange symbols and, and letters. And you see the, uh, the large tower shields of their crossbowmen as they move forward. Basically preparing to take fire from the walls. Mm -hmm. 
and Lorik will, uh, will speak up and say, uh, Men of the Reach. He'll, he'll pause, we'll wait for the uh, men to look at him. Yeah, we need you. And he'll say, uh, the enemy approaches. We must hold this bridge and fight not with honor, but with bloody and grim determination. These eastern barbarians fight for money, nothing else. Make them pay for every step that they take, and they will run with their tails between their legs. They are cowards, but we are reachermen, and we do not run. So kill them all. And he'll just start walking back down. Uh -huh. One of the uh, the garrison men says, "Kill them all!" One of the archers calls out, "Kill them all!" Menza cries out, "Kill them all!" Ah! In jubilant voice. <laughs> Yes, the word echoes across. Hugo like does a uh, goes up on his hind legs, and prances, you know, lets out a uh, whinny. God, is he here? Or is he on the other side? Like where? No, no, he, he he's around. He's like over you here, there. Right. just sure. just as like a. <laughs> he's keeping. I might keeping need him safe. Yeah, <laughs> he's gonna kick anybody's ass that comes along the river. <laughs> He's uh, ready. Also, swimming you through. To, <laughs> yeah. You need to dramatically leap up into his saddle. The river is exactly. very, uh, river is very fast running. Uh, it's <laughs> unlikely that anyone who jumped in would be able to easily get to the edge without just being like flushed, flushed Question. down. Hugo's yep. prepared uh, anyway. When, <laughs> uh, maybe you said this, and maybe I, I sound out or missed it. But when Alaric was up on the walls delivering speed, did he see what companies moved up? Uh, Alaric doesn't necessarily know which companies they are. The mercenary companies currently, at least, have very sort of uh, sort of uh, diff different colors. Uh, sure, by the way, most of any of the special ones, I meant. Uh, no, no, it's not. Okay. Yeah, they seem to be crossbowmen primarily. Okay, they're doing the thing. And they seem to yeah. be well. No one necessarily sees it because people are going down into the towers now to get cover. But they do surround the place of the half circle, sort of within a comfortable range of their heavy crossbows, and then they simply place them on top of their tower shields and watch for any movement upon the wall. Which will then warrant a crawl, crawl or 20, really. As their circle is bigger than the, the circle of the wall, by quite a margin. Hmm. The, the place is very quiet as they sort of line up. You can hear the marching feet. Such, see dust move up bit. But as they sort of halt, begin halting, you can just sort of hear a clattering of, of distant shields and whatnot. As, uh, as nothing happens for a moment. Muscles are sort of getting getting tensed up, people looking at each other. 